Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Wei again. Today, let's talk about the Helicobacter pylori antibody, NTH uh, pylori antibody, okay? So sometimes, part, some doctor will do a health screening for a lot of things, and some of them will do something called H pylori antibody. Now, if it is positive, what does it mean? Must you see a doctor, a specialist, or leave it, or just get it treated? Let me explain, okay? Uh, so when we talk about an antibody, it means it's a botic reaction to a past exposure to a bacteria or a virus. We all know about uh, COVID. So after a COVID infection, the COVID antibody tightened the blood will be elevated. So we use the COVID antibody to see whether they have been having COVID infection or not the COVID infection. Someone that have a dengue infection, also we have a positive antibody after COVID after, after dengue infection. So the antibody tells us the past exposure. But beware that some of the antibody tests are not accurate. A well-known one is hepatitis C. Hepatitis C antibody may not be caused by hep C, it may be caused by other bacteria or viruses. So anti-H pylori antibody, if it's positive, it, mean, it may mean that there's no infection, or it may mean a past infection that recovered. It can also mean a past infection that persists until now. So if you see a doctor and do a blood test, and the blood test show H pylori antibody positive, it implies that uh, you may have past exposure to uh, the, the H. pylori. But we are not sure if you have a current infection or your infection has resolved. So obviously, if you have already had H. pylori treatment before and your H. pylori antibody is positive, then we will tell the patient, well, I think you have infection before, you get it treated, the antibody will stick with you for a long, long time, for years. So it doesn't mean a current infection. But you have a H. H. pylori antibody positive, yet you never have been treatment, then that's the problem. So when patients come and see us, we'll give them, explain the following to them, and we'll give a few options. Option one is, since you have a H. pylori antibody positive, and you have not received any HP treatment before, let's get it treated, okay? That consists of one to two gastric medicine and two antibiotics for two weeks. The success rate, roughly 85% or so. It depends on whether the bacteria respond or not respond to the treatment. So H. pylori antibody positive, option one, just kill it, okay? But there's a problem. As I say, H. pylori antibody positive does not mean you have the infection. It may be a past infection or false reactive antibody. So by treating everybody like that, we may be over-treating. And the treatment for H. pylori antibody is not uh, so simple. They can cause diarrhea and tummy pain in about a third of the patient. So, I don't like it to treat it without confirming it. To confirm H. pylori infection, there are, two, there are three ways. We can do a special breath test called the urea breath test, or we can set the stool for H. pylori antigen, a stool test, or we can do a scope to check uh, for any H. pylori infection in the stomach during the scope. If the infection shows positive results, then we treat, okay? So in other words, when you have a H. pylori antibody positive, you can opt to leave it alone, you can opt to get it treated without confirming infection, or you can opt to confirm infection first, present, then the treat. Not present, leave it. So, uh, but I do have to warn patient that H. pylori infection testing only tests for H. pylori infection. It does not test for peptic ulcer or gastric cancer. In other words, if patient had H. pylori infection and stomach cancer, you kill the H. pylori, the cancer remains untreated. If you have H. pylori and a gastric ulcer, you treat the H. pylori, yes, ulcer heal, okay? But you still don't know whether you have ulcer or not ulcer. So H. pylori testing uh, tells us about the past exposure infection only, and nothing more than that. So when do I use H. pylori antibody in my clinical practice? I don't normally test it because if you really want to know if you have H. pylori infection, I think it's more better to do a urea breath test to confirm current infection or do a stool test for H. pylori antigen. Uh, there are some exceptions such as uh, if the patient is very young and H. pylori antibody is negative, it probably means they don't have H. pylori infection. Sometimes a parent have H. pylori infection, they won't test whether the young kid has H. pylori infection, and for young kid, it is not easy to collect the, the, the breath or breath test. So we thought maybe a blood test may be easier for young people. A young person, unlikely to have treated for H. pylori, a positive test means they're higher likely to that they have an active infection. 
but I do not normally recommend doing H. Pylori antibody as part and parcel of a screening test because when the test is negative, it's good, but when the test is positive, there's so many uh, possibilities, including a false infection, and sometimes make you uh, more worried. I hope I have enlightened you a little bit on H. Pylori antibody. This is Dr. Desmond Wright. Thank you.